there. This is Undying Blaze, and I am doing Minecraft the Extreme Basics. So, basically, <laughs> I am going to outline the absolute basics of Minecraft for those of you who aren't exactly um, the best at stuff such as Minecraft and computer gaming even, you know? Alright, so Minecraft, I could start from the menu here. Um, now, if you are going to just start playing, you click single player right here, or you can go into the options, and unless you've played before, um, you probably don't really have a whole ton of knowledge as to all this, so I'll get into this as we go. So, I'm just going to start single player, so you just click on that. And what I'm going to do is create a new world. So you click this magical, beautiful button right here. And you backspace and then type in your world name. So I'll type it something really creative. Beautiful. And we're going to do survival. Um, there's three game modes, survival, hardcore, and creative. Um, creative is really nice if you just want unlimited building materials and just make art and make a big building, even make a big battle scene for yourself and maybe a friend. Um, so I'm going to do survival, I'm going to click more world options, I'm going to have it generate structures, um, this allows it to create uh, villages that will spawn throughout the, the map, uh, the world type will be um, default, the options are super flat, which is, as it sounds, it's all flat. There's nothing there really. There's there's the villages, um, and and mobs, just the animals and creatures that you meet in the world. Large biomes is means that every area of the map is uh, much bigger in its boundaries. And you let's say you really like living in the desert. So you just click large biomes, and then you can live in the desert for however long. Uh, amplified is a really good one. Um, it's basically uh, amplified means that it's really kind of mountainous and cliffy and stuff like that. Uh, cliffy is a technical term. Um, but I'm going to do default, which is just normal run-of-the-mill Minecraft. Bonus chest is off. I don't like cheating. It's not how you're supposed to play Minecraft. Um, Allow cheats off. I. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them off. Alright. And I will create the new world. And my computer's pretty fast. Uh, some people's computers may take longer to uh, load Minecraft than others. Um, it's no, no real big deal. Alright, so I start here. Um, you are spawned randomly throughout the world. And so what you need to do is survive. So the W, A, S, and D keys are what you use to run around right here. Space bar is jump. And then you can walk around. You use the mouse to look around. Pretty simple. Uh, right now I'm obviously on a little beach, and there's an island right there. You can kind of see the structures underwater. There's some squid. That's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure that the render distance... So you hit escape to pause and then go into the options and then video settings and the render distance I'm going to do at 15, 16 chunks which is the highest that you can possibly go and then done and back to game. And that way it'll allow me to see a lot farther than normal. So I'm on this little island outcropping. I'm going to go around here. I do not see any trees right now, it just seems to be grass. You can get seeds from grass for farming, um, but this is just a basic tutorial. Alright, and so far I'm just in these islands. This is an ocean, by the way. Um, you can swim. So I'll just walk down here. Um, you have to jump to get over blocks, you can jump one block high. Um, Alright, before I hop into the water here, I'm going to use my inventory. So you push E to use your inventory, and see I have a custom character because I bought the game. Um, and now I have the ability to play online. And now I got the achievement down there, as you can see, called Taking Inventory, right here. 
And so you can see your achievements by pushing escape and clicking achievements. And this is the first one that I just got, taking inventory. And it gives you a real basic instruction on what taking inventory is. Then the next objective right here, and you click and drag to move your map around, which is a new feature, and then you scroll back and forth to zoom in and out. So getting wood is the next objective. Uh, I'm supposed to attack a tree until a block of wood pops out. And that is what I'm going to do next after getting to a tree. So basically you just hold forward to swim, but you'll sort of sink. So you hold the space bar to go up. The squids that are in the water that you can see here do not attack you, um, ever. You can actually punch them by left clicking, like that, and it will uh, harm them, but they will not cause harm to you. And if the water level right here is this level below the block, you can just hop right out. However, if the water level is um, too far from the block, like, I'm going to stop, whoa. Alright, see, if the water level is here and there's another block, you can't swim and hop up over that. So you have to find one that's at the water line. And I'll, I'll keep this sand. And you scroll to you scroll your mouse to switch um, through the items that you're holding. I do not see anything anywhere. This is a really sad little island world. Um, believe it or not, you actually can survive for a little bit of time. Um... Your hunger is this area right here. Um, right now I'm completely full. As these bars empty out, I get more hungry. And soon after the um, hunger bar is empty, I'll start losing health bars, or health also. Um, this, these health bars are taken away when you are attacked by mobs, or when you are dying of hunger or suffocation, which is sand by nature. Um, is affected by gravity, as with a lot of things in real life, but um, in Minecraft, sand and gravel and soul sand, I believe, well, no, not soul sand, sorry, sand falls, which is a cool feature. Dirt, however, which is this, does not when placed on the side, which is really nice when you're trying to build stuff. So I'm going to take some dirt here. I'm going to take some grass, too. Well, you can't actually pick up grass. What you do is mine it, and then you get these seeds. And seeds can be used once you've tilled land and stuff. And as I said before, we're not going to learn that right now. we got to first either make a house or find a good place to dig. Um, this is called Minecraft, so there is definitely mining in it. And that will be done at a later point. I'll take a little bit more sand right here. Um, the, the goal is not to collect as much as you possibly can. The goal is to collect things strategically. Um and build your house and survive in the environment which you are given and judging by the sea the seascape here this is probably the direction i'm supposed to be going um yeah i like to sink sometimes pretty far when i'm swimming just for fun and then just come up for air here and then just sink again i like it because i can follow the ground easier underwater um because you can't actually see any land from here don't ever, and the bubbles on the little side of the screen are informing you how much air you have left. And once those runs out, once those run out, you start losing health. And if you're, uh, if you are full, if your character is full, you will, um, sorry, your health will regenerate, um, slowly, um, by only a couple of parts. So. I'm going to keep trying to make it. My render distance is really not going far right now. Which is surprising to me. This looks like shore right here, even though you can't see it, just because the uh, underwater land goes up. See, under there, that's all kinds of lava and caverns underground. They're all pre-rendering right now. And so here's a couple trees, and these are really, really essential. Um, you attack trees by left-clicking and stuff, and you place things by pushing right-click. And you still have to mine them up again if you want them back. Um, so I'm going to attack a tree until wood pops out. So you just hold the left-click, just keep pumping it, punching it, and there you go, I got some wood. And so I'm going to keep 
punching this this wood until uh, I get this one, and you keep punching out this one, and I, I just take out the whole tree. And that's just what I like to do. Because once you take out all the wood from a tree, the branches and stuff still, like, levitate because it's Minecraft and it does that. Um, Alright. And now I'll get into the basics of crafting. So you push E to go into your inventory and you get this nice little box here. You only get four spaces to put stuff. So I'm going to put all my wood right there. And then click on that and move it in. If you want to do it faster, you hold shift and just click on it and it'll all go into your inventory. Alright, and when all the wood is out of the tree, all the, all the logs that went up into the tree, the leaves will start to disappear and drop items. That is a sapling, and that will grow a whole new tree when planted in dirt. So now I'm holding it. You just walk over stuff to pick it up. And now I'll go back into my crafting menu, and I, you right-click to just place one. And so I'm going to place four and create a crafting table. This is one of the most important things in Minecraft when it comes to building things. And now I got another achievement for that. Alright. So I'm going to place my little crafting table. It's going to be happy. And then, alright. So one of the first things I'm going to need is a pickaxe. And another one is a sword. Pickaxe, obviously, is for digging. And the sword is for fending, defending myself. And as you can see, this crafting table, when you right-click on it, displays a much bigger display. Uh, wow, displays a display, yes. Uh, for crafting, notice that the inventory only allows you four blocks, but this one allows you nine. And this is much, much more versatile, and uh, most of the crafting recipes involve this whole block. So if you put, just place two of these, it'll make four sticks. So I'll click on those and bring them down. And then... I'll actually put these in here, right, like that, and then I'll put these right here. And then now that makes a wooden pickaxe. Hey. Are you recording for yep. Minecraft? Yes, I am. I'm doing the basics. Alright, and then you just put a stick here, and then you put two more wood on top of that and make a wooden sword. Hooray! Alright, and now this tree is mostly dissolved, and there's nothing else that was dropped by it. And now we will go about making our little home for the night, because it is going to be night time soon. Another thing we will want is a shovel, so I'm going to make one. Alright, and the shovel can be used to dig up the dirt and sand uh, way faster than just by hand. And so I'll dig up some more sand and dirt here. And I'll dig over here to make a little sort of shelter for a home. And the reason you build a home at night is so that things like zombies and skeletons do not uh, spawn and come and find you at night because that's a really, really bad thing. And there I found some stone. And so this is a nice little home for me. And with the stone here, I can actually mine that and get some... get a furnace here. And make a light source. Yeah, but... Um Alright, so I'm just going to take a couple more of these stone blocks here. The furnace requires eight. Alright, and we can't make a bed yet just because uh, we do, it requires wool and we do not have that such. Look, so we just place these, you just hold right click to place them like that, and then yay, hot topic, I made a furnace. Alright, so I'm going to actually go into my little underground home that I made, and yes, this was kind of an underground home, place the furnace, and then right click on it again, you can burn things to make stuff. And so what I'm going to do is chop down this little tree, I didn't make an axe, 
I don't feel like making an axe right now. I'll make it maybe in my next video. Alright, we only need a little bit of wood, but... Alright, it's important to get wood. Alright, and then I'm going to place this in the furnace. And cook the wood with the wood. And while that's going on, I'm going to close up this little house. And what this will do is make charcoal. Alright, here we go. And then you combine that on your crafting table, which I left out there, but I can just make a new one. It's nice to have two crafting tables sometimes. And so you go into your crafting table. Oops. And you place one stick and one charcoal or coal and it'll make four torches. Torches are important because it'll keep monsters from spawning in your home. Alright, and I'm going to stay here and just wait out the night and I will be back in my next video.